All right, morning, everyone. I need to go ahead and mention before I forget, uh, next Sunday is Art Camp Sunday. That's this coming Sunday, and it's something we do every year. It's a, it's a big celebration. It's the way we kind of celebrate the end of Art Camp. So that's coming up this Sunday, and, and it's for everybody. Um, everybody's invited, so, so tell your parents, your grandparents, your uncle, your aunt, your neighbors, your friends. We're going to have something for you. Actually, we'll give it to uh, whoever picks you up, a, a piece of paper to let them know about it. But I want to go ahead and tell you now before I forget, that's this Sunday, and it's kind of a big Art Camp celebration. And what we'll do is at 10 o'clock, it'll be right here because this is a church. At 10 o'clock, we'll have a special worship service here, and it'll be at Art Camp Worship. So we'll, we'll sing the songs that we've been learning here at Art Camp, and we'll talk about the things that we've been talking about this week. So it's just a chance to celebrate Art Camp together. And then afterwards, uh, we have a big Art Camp lunch, and everybody's invited. It's free. Again, it's for family and neighbors and friends and everybody you want to bring. And I think we're going to have sub sandwiches. I think that's what we're going to do. But we always have special desserts. So there's going to be cupcakes and cookies and watermelon and all kind of stuff like that. And uh, we'll have some outside games. And you'll have a chance to play with your friends and kind of see each other again. Uh, and then um, if you want, you'll have a chance to share your favorite art project. If there's some project here you really liked, if you want to bring it back on Sunday and show it to everybody, or if you know you're coming back and you want to leave it here. But you don't have to do that, but like show and tell, if you want to share an art project, we'll have a chance in the fellowship hall that you can show it to everybody, or you can share what you learned, if there was something you really liked learning, or if you just want to share what you liked best, if you really liked games or something like that. So it's just kind of a fun time. We'll have a big lunch together, and we'll all laugh, and you'll get a chance to talk, if you want to, to share what you liked about art camp. So just make sure you tell your parents and your friends and your family, and, and we're going to give your ride a piece of paper so they can remember too. And we'll mention it tomorrow, but that's just a reminder that this Sunday is Art Camp Sunday, and, and so it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, yesterday we saw that Jesus is Lord over the winds and the waves. So he's not just, just Lord of the sea. He's not just Lord of the ocean. He's not just Lord over the fish and the creature of the sea, but he's also Lord of the winds and the waves. He controls the weather. He tells the winds what to do and the waves what to do. This morning we want to see that Jesus is worthy of our faith and our worship. Now remember, I told you yesterday that Jesus talked to lots of people and taught them all about God. And he did a lot of that uh, next to this big lake called the Lake Gennesaret. Uh, and it was such a big lake, it's such a huge lake, they called it a sea. They called it the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus did a lot of his ministry in the little towns all around the Sea of Galilee. Well, one day, he had been teaching to big crowds, and the Bible says that he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. Okay, A disciple is a learner or a follower. So we're talking about the fishermen who had become Jesus' helpers. They were disciples. They, had, they were following Jesus. They were learning from Jesus. And so Jesus told these fishermen, his disciples, go ahead and get in the boat and cross over the Sea of Galilee. Jesus said, I will stay behind and I'll say goodbye to the crowds and tell everybody to go home. You guys go ahead and get in the boat and cross over to the other side. So after he had dismissed the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Remember, prayer is just talking to God, and sometimes we need time alone with God. So Jesus sent the disciples on over to the other side of the sea. He dismissed the crowds. Then he goes up on the mountain to be alone to pray, to talk to God the Father. So when evening came, Jesus was there alone, right? The crowds have gone home. The disciples are in the boat trying to cross over the Sea of Galilee, and Jesus is left there alone. The boat, by this time, was a long way from land, okay? The, the disciples had already left, and they're out on the Sea of Galilee. They're too far. They can't come back. They can't come back and pick up Jesus, okay? Because they are, so Jesus is here alone. The boat was already a long way out on the sea, but it was beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. So it wasn't a storm, but when you're on a boat, if the wind's behind you, it gets in your sail, and, and you can go fast. If the wind's behind you, it helps you go really fast. But if the wind is going the other direction, then you have to fight the waves, and it's just slow. you got to row, and you got to work the sail. And so the boat was a far from land, okay, because they'd been gone a while, but they hadn't gotten all the way across. They're kind of in the middle because it was slow. It was hard work. They're having to fight against the wind and the waves. 
Well, this is what happened. In the middle of the night, the Bible says it was late in night. So think about like 3 o'clock in the morning. Jesus came to them walking on the sea. So it's dark, it's late, the, the men have been sailing and they're, and they're rowing and it's going really slow and they're out, they're still out in the middle, they haven't made it and they look up and they see somebody walking on the water and they can't tell who it is and it's dark but they, they see somebody walking on the water and they know we're in the middle of the sea, there's nothing to stand on and you can't walk on water but they, they see Jesus and they don't know it's him and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified they were scared. It's the middle of the night and they see somebody walking uh, on the water and they said, it's a ghost, right? And they cried out in fear. Now, the disciples probably didn't even believe in ghosts. But what else are they supposed to think? It's the middle of the night. It's really late. It's dark and you see somebody walking on water. They thought, it must be a ghost. And they were scared. But immediately, Jesus spoke to them saying, take heart, it's I. Do not be afraid. So Jesus calls out to them and says, hey, Hey, it's okay, guys. Don't be afraid. It's, it's me. Well, Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Okay. See, Peter had realized, well, Jesus can control the winds and he can control the waves. And he said, Jesus, if that's really you out there in the dark, just give the command that I can walk out there with you. If you really are walking on water, just say the word, give the command so I can walk out there with you. And Jesus said, okay, come. Okay? Jesus wants us to come to him. He calls us to, to step out in faith and, and come to him. We need to step out in faith and come to Jesus. So uh, Jesus says to Peter, yeah, come out to me. And Peter got out of the boat and he walked on the water and he came to Jesus. So not only is Jesus walking on the water, but, but Peter, can you imagine stepping out of the boat, stepping on the water? And he starts walking on the water, coming to Jesus. Remember, faith is trusting Jesus. That's what faith is. So uh, Jesus wants us to trust him. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water, and he, and he came to Jesus, right? Peter is trusting Jesus, and he's walking on the water. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. So Peter was doing well, and then he starts looking at the wind and the waves, and he starts to panic, okay? When we start focusing on our problems, we get scared, okay? When we look to Jesus, we can be brave. When Peter was looking at Jesus, he was brave and he was walking on water, but when we focus on our problems, we get scared. When we take our eyes off Jesus, we get scared. It says, when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. So Peter starts looking at the wind and the waves, and he, he starts to panic, and he starts to sink, and he cries out, Lord, save me, All right? Peter cried out to Jesus. Peter asked Jesus to save him. Peter asked Jesus to rescue him. Peter asked Jesus to help him because Peter trusted Jesus, right? He trusted Jesus. If you trust in Jesus, you'll ask him to help you. You'll ask him to save you. And Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him. As soon as Peter said, Lord, help me, Jesus just reached out and grabbed him and, and helped him, right? Peter called to Jesus and Jesus saved him. Peter asked Jesus to help him. Jesus helped him. Peter trusted Jesus, and Jesus saved him. You ask Jesus to help you, and he will. If you ask Jesus to save you, he will. You trust Jesus, and he will save you. So Jesus took hold of Peter, and he said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Okay, remember, faith is trust, and sometimes our faith is small. Right? Jesus called Peter, you of little faith. Sometimes our faith is small. Peter called out to Jesus and Jesus saved him even though Peter's faith was small. Okay? If you trust in Jesus, he will save you even if your faith is small. Okay? The main thing is that you trust in Jesus. Even if your faith is small, uh, Jesus will save you. Well, the Bible says when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. The wind's been blowing all night. It's been so hard to go. It's been so slow. And as soon as Jesus steps in the boat, the wind just stops. Okay. And those in the boat worshipped him. Okay. They, they worshipped him. It was another miracle. As soon as Jesus stepped in the boat, the wind just stopped. It wasn't a storm, but it was a big wind, and it just stopped. And we're not supposed to worship anyone but God. We're not supposed to worship anyone but God. And the disciples knew that. The fishermen knew that. 
But the fishermen also knew that only God can calm the storm. Remember yesterday we saw that Jesus told the wind, cut it out. He told the waves, calm down. And they did. And now it's happened again. Jesus steps in the boat and the waves and the wind just stop. And they knew, well, only God can do that. So the fishermen realized that Jesus must be God. They worshipped him in the boat saying, truly you're the son of God. Which means Jesus is God in human form. Jesus is completely God and completely human. Jesus came to this earth. He took on a body. He came to save us and help us. And that means that Jesus is worthy of our faith and worship, right? We can trust him. He's worthy of our faith and worship. He came to save us and help us. Okay, now, uh, we are started learning a new song, okay? And so I'm going to ask everybody to stand up. It's called, Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus, all right? And... Um, we uh, already started working on the first verse, so we're going to work on that again. Mr. Fuller is going to lead us this morning. Let's use our best voices, and we're going to sing the first verse of Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus. Then we'll work on the second verse.
Very good, very good. You can be seated. We're going to work on that. It sounds really good, and we're going to, by tomorrow, we're going to really learn that really well. So that was, that's the whole song, so we can just keep working on that. It's just going to get better and better. We've got a really great project for you today. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you're going to, I'm told it's a really, really exciting project. But first, we need to pray and ask God to bless our day. So let's put our hands together and let's close our eyes, and we're going to talk to God. Father in heaven, thank you that you are so good and thank you that you sent Jesus into the world, that Jesus came to save us and to help us. We do ask you to help us today to, to listen and to learn, to pay attention and be helpful and help us to enjoy the day. Help us to really learn and have a great day of art camp together. We ask your blessing and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 